All over the world, there are buildings that have quietly outlived generations. They've endured heavy rain, scorching heat, freezing winters, air pollution, and even destructive fires, yet their walls still stand firm. These structures weren't built with modern composites, reinforced polymers, or advanced synthetic materials. Instead, they rely on something far older, simpler, and surprisingly resilient. We walk past them daily without noticing, but their survival isn't accidental. It raises an important question. How do clay bricks survive for decades, and in many cases even centuries, without slowly breaking down? Today we're unpacking the science, craftsmanship, and design principles behind this durability. Right here, on History of Simple Things. The long lifespan of a brick begins with clay itself. Clay is made up of extremely fine mineral particles, primarily aluminosilicates, that behave differently from coarser materials like sand or gravel. When mixed with water, these particles become plastic and workable, allowing the clay to be shaped without breaking. As the clay dries, the particles draw closer together, forming a dense internal structure. High-quality brick clay contains a balanced mineral composition that provides strength during drying and stability during heating. If the clay contains too many impurities, such as excess organic matter, it can weaken during firing. This is why traditional brickmaking relied on specific clay sources that consistently produce strong, reliable bricks over time. Before clay bricks are fired, they must be carefully dried, and this step plays a critical role in their durability. Freshly shaped bricks contain free water trapped between clay particles. If that water is not allowed to escape slowly and evenly, internal stress can develop, leading to cracks that permanently weaken the brick. Controlled drying allows moisture to evaporate at a steady rate, reducing shrinkage and preventing warping. This stage doesn't harden the brick permanently, but it ensures the clay enters the kiln in a stable condition. Proper drying allows bricks to withstand the intense temperatures of firing without internal failure, directly influencing how well they perform decades later. The most important transformation happens inside the kiln. Clay bricks are fired at temperatures typically ranging from 900 to over 1,100 degrees Celsius. At these extremes, all remaining chemically bound water is driven out, and the clay minerals undergo irreversible chemical changes. The particles begin to fuse together through sintering and partial vitrification, forming a ceramic material that is rigid, dense, and stable. Once fired, bricks can never return to their original clay state, even when exposed to water for long periods. This ceramic structure is resistant to rot, insects, mold, and chemical decay, making fired bricks fundamentally different from unfired earth-based materials. Clay bricks survive conditions that destroy many other materials because they are already the product of extreme heat. Since bricks are fired at temperatures higher than most building fires can reach, bricks do not burn, melt, or release toxic fumes when exposed to flames. This is why historic urban fires often left brick walls standing even after wooden roofs, floors, and interior furnishings were completely destroyed. Beyond fire, bricks also handle repeated temperature changes well. Daily heating from sunlight and seasonal shifts between summer heat and winter cold cause minimal expansion and contraction compared to metals or plastics, maintaining its original shape over decades. This thermal stability allows brick walls to act as long-lasting protective shells, capable of enduring both sudden disasters and gradual environmental stresses year after year without losing structural integrity. 
Water is one of the greatest threats to long-lasting construction, yet fired bricks are well suited to handle moisture. Clay bricks are slightly porous, allowing them to absorb small amounts of water and release it gradually. This controlled absorption prevents pressure buildup inside the brick, which could otherwise cause cracking or surface damage. In colder climates, well-fired bricks resist freeze-thaw damage because their internal pore structure gives expanding ice room to grow without breaking the material apart. When paired with compatible mortar and proper drainage, this moisture behavior allows brick walls to endure decades of rain, humidity, and weather exposure. Clay bricks last because buildings are designed around their strengths. Bricks perform exceptionally well under compression, meaning they can support heavy vertical loads without failure. Brick structures are designed to channel weight downward into the foundation, minimizing bending or tension forces. Mortar plays a crucial role by spreading loads evenly and absorbing small movements caused by settling or temperature changes. Importantly, mortar is softer than brick, allowing it to crack or erode first. This makes maintenance possible through repointing or selective brick replacement, extending the life of the structure without major reconstruction. Clay bricks survive for decades because they combine natural materials with careful human understanding. The fine mineral structure of clay, slow drying, and extreme kiln temperatures transform simple earth into a stable ceramic that resists fire, moisture, and decay. Their strength under compression, thermal stability, and ability to manage water allow brick buildings to age gradually rather than fail suddenly. When paired with thoughtful design and basic maintenance, clay bricks don't just endure time, they quietly outlast it. What begins as ordinary clay becomes one of the most dependable building materials in human history. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.